almost. <laughs> no, we're just uh, very thankful um, just to see all the people come today and just enjoy. It was a beautiful day. Just enjoy seeing the cows and the equipment and just the atmosphere. I think it was great. So we're just really appreciative that we could host this event this year. Breakfast on the Farm is just an outstanding opportunity uh, to see an active working dairy farm uh, in Vermont. Um, it's not every day that you invite 2,400 people over for breakfast, uh, but they've done it. Uh, we thank the, the family here and we thank uh, all the countless volunteers that are helping to put on this. One of the most exciting things about Breakfast on the Farm is that you can actually eat a meal that was produced on the farm that you're at, which is really exciting. This farm uh, is a member of the Dairy Farmers of America Cooperative, and their milk is made into all sorts of local dairy products, including Ben and Jerry's ice cream, which people enjoyed today, as well as the white and chocolate milk that they enjoyed today. And then we also had some really fun local businesses that were featured as well, like Champlain Orchards had their cider donuts, and we had Cabot Creamery Cooperative, which is also a cooperative of dairy farmers with their cheese and their yogurt. So people were really making that connection between the farmer that made their food and the food they were eating, which doesn't happen all that often these days. This is a, a wonderful example of a, a working dairy farm. Um, it is a, a farm that produces uh, you know, milk for us to drink. Um, it's managed extremely well. Um, the, you can see the animals and the care that's taken with the animals, the comfort that the animals have. Um, also, if you look around uh, the 2,000 acres here in Addison County that they manage, uh, beautiful uh, cropland, keeping this land in, in open production, which is so valuable uh, to the state of Vermont, uh, to our economy, and also to, uh, to the region. So when you come to a farm like this, uh, there's probably, it's about 40 farms in Vermont that are similar to this in size and scope. Um, you know, they produce a tremendous amount of milk that's uh, for consumers outside the region. So this milk is possibly ending up on the dinner table in New York City or in the schools of New York City, or it could be in Boston. Um, so it's a, it's a very valuable uh, asset for the state of Vermont and contributing to the food system. You know, you walk around, you talk with the, the family here, um, it's family o operation, um, you know, uh, several generations, uh, but everyone's involved uh, doing something. You know, some may be involved in taking care of the land with the crops, the other people may be taking care of the calves, uh, some others may be taking care of the uh, milking operation. So it is truly a family operation. Uh, um, there's probably close to a dozen family members that I've talked to today here at Breakfast on the Farm and they're all involved in this in one way or another. Hey guys. You know agriculture can be rugged at times from time to time but uh, this family is doing their best to you know think about the next generation. Uh, they have to be always thinking about the future and you see that here uh, what they're trying to do here. Um, and you know, and people that visit here um, many of them probably are seeing an operation for the first time like this. Um, you know, there's sometimes these events bring back nostalgic events and thoughts from folks, uh, but this gives everyone a real education, the reality of what happens on a, a dairy farm in, in Vermont and the region in the United States these days. Uh, they're all shapes, they're all sizes, they're all scales, they're all different practices, but they're all extremely valuable uh, to the state of Vermont. And uh, we, uh, we are, we're so thankful that these farmers uh, want to take on this challenge and keep this land in in open production and they're also uh, feeding us. One thing to keep in mind about um, agriculture is uh, these operations are helping to feed us and our region and the country and we never should lose sight of the fact that uh, this is about feeding, um, feeding, our, feeding our country. And at the end of the day um, everyone's going to have a real life experience of what it's like to uh, be on a farm in Vermont. They're going to see the cows, they're going to see how they're milked, they're going to see how the calves are taken care of, they're going to see how the land is taken care of. So Breakfast on a Farm is an opportunity to educate uh, the public of what actually happens on a farm. And it's a rare opportunity to have 2,400 people come by and, and see an operation like this. Uh, but it's really important that I think everyone uh, see firsthand uh, what happens and Breakfast on the Farm gives that opportunity and we shouldn't lose sight of the fact that it's a free breakfast and there are many things in life that are not free anymore 
uh, and this is a free event uh, for just scores of people and we're grateful for everyone coming out and enjoying this day uh, here in Addison County. You know, countless people drive by this farm each day and they're probably curious. They may have never been on this, uh, on this farm. There's, they want to know what's, what's happening there. They want to see what's, what's happening. They want to see the cows. They want to see the calves. They want to meet the family, talk with the family. So Breakfast on the Farm is an opportunity to um, engage the public more in, in dairy farming and what's happening. So the neighbors are getting together, uh, seeing each other. Um, you know, 2,400 people coming to an event is a significant event in Vermont. And it's a great opportunity for people just to um, have a conversation with someone about farming, have a conversation about um, you know, what, this, uh, what this means to the state of Vermont. And so it's, it's a wonderful opportunity just to have some quiet time uh, milling about, learning about uh, the land, the animals, and also have a, a wonderful breakfast. Thanks for coming this morning. Let's talk about it. So we are station number four. <laughs> so if you come right here, right, so we have a conventional field right here, then we have a field right here that has like no fields, then we have a pasture hayland field, then we have a portion field. Right here. In the front bucket, you're looking at the water that's running off. In the back bucket, you're seeing what's going into, what's coming infiltrating through the water, right? So which one do you want to drink? You, you want to drink chocolate milk? Oh, no. Okay. Well, I mean, 2% of milk is good. You want to drink you have any other questions? Milk is good, right? Yeah. So, so actually on that back one right there is that one of the very clear pores of soil. Basically, you're looking at a lot of soil disturbance. Okay, so we try to help producers and garden transition from this person to that one over there, which is the forest and So on your question there, it has one So so what do you see that's a difference from here to there? What do you see the difference? Yeah. So what about on the top? What do you see on the top? That one doesn't really um, is not a lot of eggs, not really much blood. You, you got it spot on. So what you're looking for is you're looking for that grass, you're looking for this right here. This is that muck that you're talking about. That's some sad soil. Interestingly, right there in that same picture, the water's barely infiltrating through there. So this is what we try to tell people to help shift and get away from right here. Uh, just to promote dairy farming, um, to see how we take care of our land and our animals, uh, how important that is, and um, yeah, just for agriculture as a whole in our state and how helpful it is for our economy here in Vermont. Um, I guess we have a, a family, family oriented atmosphere here. Um, we have five families on the farm and we all work well together. And um, yeah, just the, the joy that it brings us to work together and to achieve a goal and that we set out each year and to do a good job and just to work together with our kids too, especially our young kids and to see them maybe want to work on the farm too when they get older. So it's, yeah, like very important for us to um, just do a good job here to um, have a good, like, like with our employees and we even with our family, just have a good relationship with each other and someone needs help in the, in the area, we'll help them and hopefully in return, they'll want to help us in the future as well. You know, we try to make sure that we put up very uh, quality forage so that we can, uh, you know, make good milk and also with our facilities, we have fans and sprinklers and, um, you know, put a lot of bedding in the stalls. Everything's about cow comfort. It's all about the cow. If the cow is healthy and happy, it will produce a lot of milk. And in return, uh, we can hope to be profitable. Well, <laughs> that's a loaded question. Um, farming is, could be a gardener, right? Um, there's many different ways to be a farmer. I think that's the beauty of uh, farming. Uh, you can be a bigger farmer, you can be a small one, you can be a middle-sized person. As long as you can make a living, you can do it any way you want. I guess that's the beauty of farming. What can I get you? A thin mint? What, honey? Campfire? Yep. Chocolate or white milk?
It went really well. We're feeling really high right now on the excitement of all the people that visited us today, seeing the wonder in their faces and seeing them delight in all the delicious breakfast foods that they had. It was really rewarding to offer such a positive experience to people, especially um, coming out of the pandemic. And um, yeah, it was a great day. We had almost 2,000 people. It's really amazing to know that 63% of the milk made in New England comes from Vermont. And so a lot of people that visit us come from outside of Vermont too, and they are able to see where the dairy products that they buy are made, how they're made, ask questions about it, find out how the calves are raised and how they raise the crop, how they grow the crops. So it's a really cool way to experience food in a way that you wouldn't normally experience it. So that when you're at the grocery store and you're reaching for the gallon of milk or the yogurt or the ice cream, you can remember a conversation you had with the farmer who made that food. How often does that happen at the grocery store? Pretty much never. And whenever I reach for dairy products now, I see in my mind these farms that I've been to. And it creates this connection and this feeling and this desire to really support and support those farms by buying their products. I think it would be really cool for Breakfast on the Farm to start to feature different types of farms because agriculture in Vermont is really evolving these days. We've, you know, from wine to craft beers to vegetables to even CBD products. So it would be really cool for Breakfast on the Farm to start to think about how to show people other parts of farming and that includes dairy and it also can include a diversified farm that may do dairy and other types of um, agriculture. So I think that's a way for Breakfast on the Farm to really expand the reach for people. Uh, and we always shoot to have about 2,000 people at our events and that seems to be a good a number for us. And so in the future, we hope that we can continue to offer at least one event per year of this size in places throughout the state that are convenient for people to, to access. So in the future, we really hope that this experience will always be affordable or free so that there would be no barriers for people to be able to have this enriching experience where they can connect with a farmer and really make that um, lasting impression between their food and how it's made. So we are so fortunate to have donations from dozens and dozens of different organizations, agriculture businesses, food brands throughout Vermont. So you'll see everything from Cabot Creamery Cooperative, Vermont Maple Granola Company, Dairy Farmers of America, uh, local um, blueberries, sausage, donuts, Champlain orchards. So we really pride ourselves on the community seeing the value of the of the event and in that they are willing to donate or um, offer products for free because they understand that it's a really great opportunity to connect with people. So the event definitely wouldn't be possible without the support of our sponsors and um, all of the businesses and brands that donate to the event. The event is also made possible by over 100 volunteers and they host 13 different educational stations throughout the farm and I think of it as like a mini outdoor science museum because agriculture really is science. You're learning about plant science, the how the animals health and how their diet impacts their milk production. Um, you're learning about pregnancy, you're seeing birth calves being born. I think it's unbelievably fabulous. I can't thank everybody enough for putting it on. Uh, why, is it, uh, why do you think it's important? Or why'd you come? Uh, because I've been in Vermont a long, long time and the farmers are an integral part uh, of being in Vermont. Uh, and I just want to support them as much as I can. Um, we love the Vermont and the farm breakfast. We try and come every year and I'm a um, daughter of a Vermont dairy family but my husband's not and so we're trying to teach the kids and bring them up Vermont and this is a great way to do it. Um, I mean these events um, I think are a quintessential Vermont summer. It's something unique to Vermont and so it's important that we teach the kids and we continue agriculture when it's in this climate something that's really hard to do. Um, continue that passion and foster it for the kids and the families. Congratulations. Thank you Andy. Thank you, Andy. That's
That's from me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You guys say congratulations to the ball. Hi, everybody. Thank you. Where did you get that from? I'm having the same question. I'm not the exact same. You're eating ice cream already? Oh, Simplicity. Do you like it? I know you got a good ice cream. Simplicity. It doesn't fit. That was an issue. That was an issue. That happens a lot. Uh, we just wanted to see their farms. Yeah. They've always had a really nice farm, and I grew up in the area, and it's just yeah. it's a beautiful farm as well, kept, and a wonderful family, and we just wanted to bring our kids here so they can experience it too. I mean, this is the third year we've done it, so we love it. It's always our favorite thing to do, actually probably over the summer. Um, you know, the kids really enjoy it, but honestly, I think the adults enjoy it more. Uh, I love asking. I think every year I learn something new about a farm. So, yeah, uh, three years. Yeah, I mean, like farms are super important to Vermont and its economy. So, like, why not learn more about it? And, you know, there's so much technology now involved in farming, and you know, every year you're like, you know, like I said, like I was just, I, I probably spent more time this year talking to the equipment guys and learning more about the equipment they use and like how, you know, I even asked like, what's the most critical piece of equipment? And, you know, I don't know. Every year it's like, you know, I meet, you know, they with all the volunteers too. You know, each person has their own little specialty, and you know, you you learn something from, you know, something new from someone else because they have a different perspective. So, yeah, uh, I learned that if a calf is is not in position they actually reach their hands in and move the cow the calf when it comes out yeah. so yeah that was something yeah. <laughs> i guess there was one that was um, actually born here when they... yeah actually it was the one that just came out today they were saying it was breach and the vet i was talking to the vet and she said i actually had to reach in there and turn the cow i was like wow you know it's pretty pretty interesting so yeah. i myself impressed with the technology yet it's still it's a family operation yeah and and obviously they yeah, there's so much technology involved in it, but it still feels like a farm. Like, it doesn't feel like it's this factory, right? You know, with everything, like, even when, you know, asking about the tags on their ears and they go up and they auto feeds and makes the milk for the cows. Like, oh, that's cool, but it still feels like a farm. It still feels like, you know, what you expect and what you want in a farm, I guess, as a visitor, right? Yeah, of course. Thank you. So after, you know, after you go test, you're gonna come to the equipment station, and you're gonna see a ton of this equipment, and it's huge. It's really big, so you can go and ask more questions and learn about it there. What is that? That's a a tracker. So for nutrient management planning, farms will track kind of like how much they spread. Or, uh, where and when they planted different seed rates. So, uh, that's part of um, So that's a high boy interseeder. And that's a way that you can broadcast seed cover crops. So when they, yeah. In the fall, then, when they go and harvest the corn off, it would still probably be kind of small because it's hot and they like it. Oh, yeah. Open and it cools down. And uh, I also put it up that, that way. There, otherwise, this would be bare. Right. I spent wanting to do We also have different pieces of equipment. We might do it at different times. So rather than interseeding it, you might just go at the end of the season mm -hmm. and just drill something in. It was a, um, or like right now, we'd have to use something like this. Right. It's really tall, and you'd have to drive into the corn and feed underneath the can so to have a better chance of hitting the ground. Yeah. Yeah, so how much milk? Well, this farm is milking around 750 cows, averaging a little over 90 pounds. So, if you do the math on that, it's close to 8,000 gallons a day. And basically, filling that trail will just sit right outside that milk truck. So, this feed is probably not just corn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It probably has some grain in it, like yeah. a would add protein. It probably has some hay that's been ground up. Um, and you have to purchase the grain. Yeah, you? they have to buy them all separately. So they put them in different like tilling yeah. sheds. And then they mix it up in a wagon. And your your <laughs> sawdust, where does that come from? I don't oh, know. It's where, an electric. <laughs> I don't know where they get their sawdust. Late at night. <laughs> probably Canada. So they don't no one uses yeah. hay bedding anymore, right? Hay not typically you could shred it. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
a lot of times, like, they'll use mattresses. Oh, this was a lot of fun, because I'm kind of obsessed with cows, and I uh, love dairy, love milk, and so it was really fun to just be with the cows today and learn um, proper farming practices. And so I really enjoyed it. And that's why you came? Yes, yeah, just to be around cows, you know? I just like it, it's Vermont. It was just interesting to see this larger scale and how they uh, keep the cows happy and healthy, even though there's so many of them. Yeah, it was interesting. Yeah. yeah, thanks. It's great to be part of it, isn't it? It is. You get to meet different people and Is that why you volunteered? Yes. I well, that and I know the family. Um, I've known them for a while. Um, it just gets you to do something different. Have you been on the farm before? I have been on the farm before. Yeah. What's it like serving breakfast to 2,000 people? It's a little nerve-wracking, but you try to get used to it. I mean, you're kind of in a rush to get everything going and stuff. Now it looks like you're doing pretty well. Under control. How was it? It was awesome. It was great. Very informative. I know the family, like I said, know the family and give my granddaughter experience with the cows and the calves. And <laughs> she had fun. Did you have fun with the cows today? Did you have fun with the cows today? <laughs> Don't put your fingers in. Oh, bad. I bet. Uh, why is it good? Why is it important to have these events? Oh, this is extremely important for it. just educational purpose. I, I talked to a lot of people here today that were from the city, didn't have the experience that I did growing up on the farm, and uh, just to see the expression on their faces and uh, listen to their questions and stuff that I took for granted over the years. And it, uh, you know, very informative. Shows people where you know where that bottle of milk comes from in the, from the store. So, yeah, it's a uh, it's a great it's a great thing. Yeah, and, yeah we're pretty lucky in Addison County where there's, there's a pretty closer connection to the farm community. But I, you know, I talked to some people here from New Jersey. I talked to people here from other other states that uh, don't get this experience. So, yeah, I think it's a great thing. Yeah. What was your favorite thing? The calf. And I hear there was a baby calf born. Yes. Is it kind of cool? We saw two. Uh, it was a great day, um, very exciting, and uh, we were very happy to host it this year. Um, we saw a lot of smiling faces and a lot of happy people. Well, I wanted, it was like the sunset, and so I was so yeah, glad I got to get a picture. <laughs>